Today I must go to them. This characteristic structure you see here is a traditional example of Japanese architecture. And today we've come to the Japan Open Air Folk House Museum in Kanagawa Prefecture. It's about a 45 minute train ride from Tokyo Station and shown across a vast space surrounded in greenery are numerous historical Japanese homes. So let's go take a look inside. Showing us around here today is Mr. Takuo Shibuya, who knows all about the structures on display here. Shibuya, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Would you tell us about this museum? Our museum showcases traditional Japanese homes and opened in 1967. Currently, we have 25 structures, most of which were built 200 to 300 years ago. All 25 are designated cultural treasures, and six are national important cultural properties. This museum was started as part of efforts to protect the traditional houses of Japan. Have these structures been brought here from across the country? Yes. They were disassembled in their original locations, with the different sections transported here and put back together. So, from everywhere in Japan? Yes. Mr. Shibuya, I can see many different houses. Where should I start? Let me first introduce you to Hara House. As you can see from the exterior, it's a very big two-floor structure and has an impressive tiled roof. You can think of it as an example of a home of a very prosperous landowner living near Tokyo. It was constructed about 100 years ago, and it's said that it took 22 years to complete from when they started cutting the wood to when it was completed. Can you see the chandelier? Yes. The owner of this home was a big landowner in the local area, and the chandelier was added in the Showa period in the early 20th century. It was actually used in the home and donated to us. The Buddhist altar, for example, was also used in Hara House. The museum recreates the living spaces of people at the time by also displaying items that were used by the occupants of the houses. Next, I want to show you Misawa House from Nagano Prefecture, which was also a medicine dispensary. Can you see the chest over there? That chest was used to hold traditional medicine that was manufactured in this home. It's called a Hyakume Dantsu, which is written as a hundred eyes and refers to the many drawers. Across from the living room, there's a slightly big furnace. What was it used for? It's called a Kaiba Kamado, and it was used for horses. The family kept horses, and they would boil the straw for the horses to make it soft for them to eat. And beside the furnace is a stable. It's so close to their living quarters. Horses were used to till farms and transport goods, while their manure was used as fertilizer. They were very useful animals for people at the time, so families would take very good care of them. This is the main area of our museum, and it's called the Shinetsu Regional Village. There are four Gasho-style houses here. Gasho-style houses have steep roofs, much like hands folded in prayer. Shirakawago in Gifu Prefecture is famous for having a village with such houses and is registered a World Heritage Site. The area experiences harsh winters, with snow even piling up on the eaves of the roofs. It was necessary to clear the snow off the roofs, and that's why local people adopted this kind of steep roof. 
This gashō zukuri home with steep sloping roofs resembling praying hands is actually a restaurant where visitors can eat soba noodles. Thank you. So they brought me some delicious looking noodles. Visitors can enjoy soba noodles while looking out at the museum's collection of folk houses. The noodles are delicious as they are, but with this beautiful view of traditional homes beside me, they taste even better. They really are good. <laughs>